Hello my friends, Dark Zone Delivery. I wanna give you some tips and some pitfalls. I've been doing the event and as the main prize, you can get this lovely little ornament, this GHO grenade ornament, which looks pretty cool to be honest and it makes your gun very unique. For those who don't know the event details, let me guide you quickly through. So basically you're getting a task which is about delivering items to a specific place on a specific map. You get this lovely green delivery bag, you put your stuff inside and you need to equip that in order to start this event. You don't need to successfully extract, you can do it in normal mode. Actually, I didn't even try it in lockdown mode. For each and every completed task, you're gonna get so-called delivery rating points, which you can exchange. And the best item you can get is that ornament I showed you. Each task is giving you a different amount of delivery points which varies between I think 60 and 720. At least for me 720 was the maximum I got for one delivery. Let's assume that you are going to go for the ornament as well. So the target is 3600 delivery points. You're not going to be able to do the whole event within one day because on the first day you can do five orders five deliveries and then it refreshes you get three new orders the next day and then again the day after for me it took three days or actually two days and on the third day i had to do one more order or two i don't remember if you are super lucky you could eventually finish the event within two days but it will really depend on the orders and how many delivery rating points you can get from those orders Interesting fun fact guys is that you can actually choose between the tasks so you can use those arrows to select which one you want to do. I didn't know that actually I was always just focusing on the first one but it doesn't really make a difference in what order you do them. If you re-roll one of the orders then it's just going to re-roll that single item so not the full set of orders. Talking about rerolls, so what I did is I kept all the orders which gave me more than 200 of these delivery rating points and the orders which gave me less than 200 points, I rerolled them in the hope of getting a better reward. Pay attention now because this is really important. Since many players are doing the event right now, many of the items, the prices of the items are skyrocketing. So this working LCD, for example, usually costs 7,000. And if I just go ahead and, uh, and, and purchase them, then it's gonna cost you tons of money, especially if you buy the items, you start the delivery, you die, and then you need to purchase them again. So what I did is that I refreshed it a couple of times until I got a better price. Few more tries. There you go. As you can see now, the same items only cost 7,300-ish and just quickly purchase them when the prices are normal again. Interesting thing is that if you purchase the items, as I just showed you, they are not being added to the top of your storage. So for me, it was added to the miscellaneous box, usually at the bottom to it. So I'm just telling you that not to be scared. They are going to be in your storage, but you need to look at the right place. Always have this backpack equipped. If you're having a different type of backpack, then it's not going to work. It's not going to trigger the event. And if you have this backpack equipped, don't forget to actually put the items inside. I had one game where I forgot the backpack or I used the travel one or something else. And I had another game in which I had the backpack equipped, but I didn't bring the actual items with me. If you have items that need to be delivered without the operation marker, you can carry them in your secure container. It is not a requirement to have them in your backpack. Okay, I'm just telling you that because you lose less if you are doing it like that. In most cases, you're not going to own the items by default, but in case you have one and you need to deliver three, it's still better to have that one in your composite case. In case you die, you lose less. About the delivery itself, I was playing mostly on port. Maybe I was just unlucky, maybe I didn't get the right tasks, but for me it was mainly port, like 90% of time it was port. And port just simply sucks because all of the covered ups players and, 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 and basically the campers, so it wasn't that ideal, but I thought it's being designed like this to promote the port map a bit more. 
In terms of loadout, I started doing the first deliveries with T4 and my full, basically my default uh, loadout, but then I changed my mind. I think the first one was actually successful, but then I lost everything. Therefore, I equipped myself with a T3 armor, helmet, and an SMG. I mainly played with a Mac 10, which is actually a great gun, but you can pick up an MV5 or any of the basic assault rifles. The reason why I recommend you to play with a relatively cheap loadout is because you're gonna risk your loadout, you're gonna risk your courier bag, which costs approximately 20K, and risk all the items you carry with you, which are gonna cost you another at least 20K or even more. Every time you're gonna attempt to do a delivery, on top of your loadout, you're gonna risk approximately 50K. So you have the bag 20K and the items worth 20, 30K. If you extract successfully and if you deliver the items, you're going to keep your bag, but still your items, the items you deliver, they're going to be gone. If you die before delivering the items, you're going to lose your bag and the items. You need to purchase the items one more time. So in that case, obviously it costs you a bit more. You will need approximately 10 successful orders to get the ornament, which would assume that you get 360 delivery points on average but it can be more if you are picking the wrong orders then you need 15 or even 20 games to get the ornament let's quickly calculate the cost of the ornament so i said that if you successfully deliver and extract it's going to cost you approximately 30k if you fail then 30k for the items the bag and your loadout which makes it like 80k so we can calculate with a 50k in average i said you're gonna need 10 successful deliveries and let's assume your extraction rate or your success rate is gonna be 50 percent which makes it a total of 20 games and if you multiply 20 games with 50k then it's approximately 1 million coin so if you don't pick up stuff and just focus on the delivery itself then this event is gonna cost you approximately 1 million coins to get that tiny little ornament. But it's worth it. It's lovely and it looks really cool. I personally really enjoyed the event and I think it's pretty cool because this is the world we're living in, especially near Christmas. All of the delivery forks, you know, going and coming. So I think it was a nice touch from developers to put this into the game. I wish you all happy and successful deliveries, guys. If you have any questions regarding the event, leave comments and as always thank you for your attention have a nice day shady out bye